women are much, much stronger spiritually than men. Now, I know just from me saying that, a lot of dudes are going to get triggered in the comments and be like, oh man, he's simping, he pandering. No, 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 no. You don't understand spirituality. Because to even tap into the spiritual plane, you have to tap into your feminine. Now, the problem is, a lot of you niggas have been psyoped into thinking that feminine means weak, or feminine means soft, or feminine means acting like a woman. It does not mean that. That is a low-level 3D perspective that you have adopted. See, feminine energy just means being receptive, okay? Masculine energy is direct. It goes out. Feminine energy is receptive. It receives. This means that in order to reach a higher plane of consciousness, you have to open yourself up to new ways of thinking, to new ideas. You have to open yourself up to new energies. And a lot of men are afraid to do that or they're just not willing to do it. So when I say that women are stronger spiritually, this is because they're able to manifest things using less effort than men. And a lot of men, since they're not in tune with their feminine side, they hate women because of that. But that's a whole nother video. See, a lot of dudes think that because they can pick up a gun, because they can lift a lot of weights, and because they can use physical force, that makes them powerful. Which, on a certain level, it does. On a physical level, that does make you powerful. Look, I'm not telling you to be a bitch-ass nigga. You should be strong, and you should be able to physically do things in this world. That's not what I'm saying. But if you have to use physical force, and if you have to use violence in order to influence people, you're really weak as fuck. And you don't really have the power. The physical item that you're using has the power. See, it's the person who doesn't have to use physical force that can influence people with their thoughts, with their energy, with their words. That's the one who really has power. So understand what time it is, bro. Look at the world. Look at all these powerful men who used and subjugated and abused women for years. All of their ass is getting punished right now by the universe because the energy has shifted, bro. Just like I told y'all a few years ago, all these niggas that make red pill content, all of these niggas are going to meet a terrible, terrible fate. And guess what? All of these niggas done lost their channels, got demonetized, and all these niggas crying because they didn't understand that you're not going to position yourself in a war or position yourself in a combative stance against the feminine and win. You're not going to do it, bro. You may get away with it for a couple of years or get away with it for a season, but you're going to get punished in the end because you're fucking up the balance of the universe, nigga. The fuck y'all niggas talking about? So, understand, bro, everything will always balance itself out. Now, does that mean that women are just perfect and don't have flaws and don't need to be held accountable for certain things? No, it doesn't mean that. But what it does mean is that since women have suffered more, and since women have for years been brutalized and not being able to even be looked at as human, and have been looked at as merely sex objects and merely looked at as a being to be of servitude, right? The universe is giving women more power now because you niggas have distorted the fucking balance of the universe. And look, I'm going to be real, bro. I was always hated because I was always in tune with my feminine energy. Listen, I never had a job, bro. I always was able to attract things. And a lot of niggas would always ask me like, bro, how you be getting money, bro? How you be getting these houses, bro? How you be getting these deals? How people be... Bro, because I understand the power of energy. I understand how to tap into my feminine side. And this ain't no bitch shit. Nigga, this is actually the real G shit. A real nigga has the power to tap into their feminine and still be masculine. Nigga, I ain't putting no motherfucking dress on. Nigga, I ain't doing no weird shit. But guess what? At the same time, I can bring all my exes and put them on the live stream and none of them can ever tell you that I put my hands on them. None of them can ever tell you that I abused them. You know, we may have gotten into some arguments. I might have said some bad words, right? I'm not perfect. But what I'm saying is when you understand how to align yourself vibrationally and energetically and merge with the feminine instead of trying to dominate, give her room to grow and she will make you into a god, my nigga. But a lot of dudes is too arrogant and too prideful to understand this science. And this is why men collectively are suffering a lot more. This is why women are surpassing men in certain areas because they're more in tune with the spiritual side. The days and era of just being a physical brute force monster that dominates every bro. That shit is over with, bro. You got to learn finesse. You got to get some ribs, my nigga. Right. 
Being able to affect people on an emotional level is more powerful than affecting them on a physical level. Because guess what? Any dumb nigga can pick up a gun and, and rob somebody, but nobody respects that, bro. Nobody respects that weak ass shit. But the person that can use their mind and use their intellect to actually develop something and bring value, people respect that. So you can take over a country through military conquest, but guess what? The people that you take over will resent you and hate you until the end of time. And eventually all that energy will catch up with you and you will be destroyed. But if you actually help people, if you show love, if you actually support them, they will adore you, they will love you, and they will actually make you more powerful and more wealthy than you could even imagine. But we've been under this patriarchal rulership based on brutality and violence, and we think we got to emulate that in order to have power. But that's not true power, bro. That's a lack of power. Any man that feels like he has to physically dominate or beat a woman, weak ass nigga, bro. Every nigga knows this. Now, I'm not telling you to let a bitch beat your ass, bro. You know, I'm not telling you that. And there are a lot of women who have become overly masculine due to men not being masculine. So it's a lot of weird shit going on energetically that has to be put back in proper balance. And until we do that, we'll continue to see all this back and forth gender war bullshit that really helps and serves nobody. So understand what time it is, man. It's a new day. It's a new awakening. It's a new shift, a new consciousness on the planet.